Hey, welcome back everybody to Prison Architect. This will be episode 10. Oh man, look at this prison now. Um, especially after we got, you know, some of this planning in here. We added in some common rooms. Um, I don't know if all of them are going to be used or not. I know this guy's just kind of sitting by himself lonely. Brendan Hennessy, 31. Uh, charged and convicted for funding the game industry and has been deported and locked up in Introversion's prison for testing. Has been here since the Alpha 13 video. Sentenced to 47 years for multiple crimes including murder and aggravated burglary. Uh, seems believable enough. Um, I guess some fan made that for the developer. Um, if not, that was just somebody that they also kind of put in. Uh, a lot of these guys are coming back from church. Some of them decide to stay late and uh, keep praying to Jesus. Um, we do have the planning, you know, already made out for what we want to do with uh, the execution chamber. But um, I was kind of looking at some other uh, ways to make it seem a little bit more realistic. Like have like a barrier, have like a wall and like a room where the execution actually happens. Um, so I think what we want to quickly do is we're going to get rid of all that. And what we're going to do is this will be... Hmm. I guess maybe we can make this the, uh, the substation for this. I think that'll be okay. Maybe even have a... Um, have that room, that execution room. We could put a substation here and uh, directly link it up to just uh, this wiring here. Um, of course, we're going to have to reroute this uh, this electrical wiring right here so that way we don't accidentally um, bring it through here. And, uh, yeah. Because we don't want the, uh, the substation kind of intermingling with other wiring because that's just textbook you know how to basically shut down your entire prison um, which we don't want and uh, I mean we want to make sure everybody's you know contained everybody's you know locked up properly but um yeah you know because then you know we get all these people rioting, we got everybody just like freaking out and trying to escape, I'm sure. Um, you know, when the when the execution actually happens. Um, so yeah, here. Eat. Okay, so we got, we got death row approved. Um, we do need execution liability. Um, I guess that would allow for a reduction in the required strength of the conviction before death row proceedings can be properly started. I kind of read up about it, and um, I guess, you know, they have a high... They, I guess if you get, uh, whatever it is, execution liability, you you have a um, you have a higher chance of being able to um, actually execute those people, you know. And they, uh, you know, they can't really do anything about it. Um, you have a high... Yeah, you have a higher chance of executing people... Um, and I guess, you know, they have a lesser chance of, uh, getting out and, uh, maybe end up getting demoted to, uh, maximum security or even super max, but who knows. Um, if that were to ever happen, I would surely just kind of bump them down to, uh, max sec, or well, super max maybe, um have like a little uh, wing for them especially try to keep them away from all the people but definitely not keep it around minimum security because they'll be walking through the halls and slicing motherfuckers up with a fucking katana and who knows if it's a fucking katana they might beat them over the head with a bar of fucking soap till they're nice and clean but what do I know anyway looks like all these prisoners are kind of walking around on top of their beds and trying to squeeze through there so that way they have a little bit of walking space and uh, they're walking all over their, their shitters and um, oh man I feel like I, re I really like the layout of 
this prison so far. I mean, it's not the best, but oh, we have a death. In the cafeteria, um, or canteen, as they say. Um, unfortunately, one guy has died. Uh, yep, he was killed for being a snitch. Unfortunately, the... I, I don't know what to say. I mean, unfortunately, that's just how it is, you know? Like, I can't weed out the snitches. I really cannot. Um, I mean, I tried my best, but unfortunately, yeah. Of course. Alright, so now we need to really start, like, figuring out where all the snitches are, because these guys... I mean, that, that deployment, that canteen shared, but that one's for max sec only. Um, not entirely sure if they're all going here or if, you know, if any of them are, uh, I don't know. And there's nobody in solitary, too, is there? Nobody's in solitary, so we never actually figured out who the fuck killed him. So... We are gonna need a couple of guards. Oh wait, no, not. Pfft. I put it. I put both of them in the frickin'. Uh, we need two guards at least, sitting there in the frickin' uh, canteen, just watching this guy, or watching those guys, um, just to make sure that they don't continue killing. Um, we might end up continuing on building a little bit of uh, some of these cells here. Not entirely sure though. We'll just go ahead and do that and then we'll dismantle that window. Okay. Maybe even dismantle that window and then we'll fix the positioning of those two windows. Maybe one right there and one right there. Um, but yeah, we are probably. Let's see if we can actually bump anybody up to, uh, to death row. I don't know if we can. No? So we've allowed for death row, but. Um, Okay, we can't really bump anybody up to death row. I guess that's just sort of... Uh, you can't just bump anybody up to death row as you please, I guess. So, that's okay, though. That, that's perfectly okay. Um, let's continue actually planning, because I don't know what happened here. Oh. No? What, what, what happened? Up, oh, up. Oh, they all tried escaping. They all tried escaping. Slippery fuckers. You slippery, slippery fuckers. You all tried escaping, didn't you? Okay. So. Of course, now they're all getting into brawls. Now they're all trying to get out. See, they knew that they couldn't... I mean, they tried escaping through here. They realized they couldn't. So they tried escaping through visitation. Um... Which was, not gonna lie, it was a pretty smart move. I mean, they could've... Could've tried a little bit harder, but damn. Yeah, but they really fucked that up. Alright. Now, what's going on in here? Do we really need two guards going on in here? I feel like we really do. Okay. So, as for this... These guys are building the walls... To, uh, allow those cells to be used again. Um... Okay, so, there we go. Yeah, they actually fit, like, perfectly. And then, of course, yeah, this could all just be cells. So, what we want to do here, instead of just planning it out, um, yeah, bed, toilet, jail door. Yeah, this would work out fine. Kind of line everything up. I'm really liking this game, especially this uh, little prison that we're building. It's it's coming along good, especially after that, that whole reform. Oh, these guys love rioting, don't they? Um, anyway, we, um, God, we're really building something great here. I really like it. Um, actually, you know what? Instead of just a, uh, a common room, let's get let's get a door going through here get a door going through there. I think that'll be okay. Um, we could actually get some doors actually going through here. Let's spend 150 bucks. Blow another 
150 bucks just to get some doors. Actually, 200 counting that door. Um, okay, so what we want now, um, we have $16,000 to play with, so I think we'll be fine to get some jail doors. Actually, we might have enough to actually complete these cells without having to wait. And of course, get some toilets. Going through there. Get some beds too. There we go. And we spent almost as much because they had a uh, three. Th we got three thousand dollars for somebody being released, and then we spent we spent basically four hundred more on that stupid. Uh, Whatever they were. Beds or whatever, yeah. I'm trying to think. Just trying to make sure I don't get, you know. Okay. Seems like everything's going good. Actually, let's not have one right there. Okay. So these are all cells. So let's make them cells. Um, there we go. So a lot of these are done. Done and done. I think that was pretty productive use of space right there. Um, of course, these guys might end up trying to escape a little bit easier, but we are going to have to get a guard deployment going up here. Gonna make sure that these guys don't escape, um, but we are going to have to hire... No, not deployment. We're going to have to hire more guards, so let's do that. Okay, so we hired three or four new ones, and we got we barely get one that's available um because they're all pretty damn busy um okay all right so what are these guys going on about now um we got laundry uh let's see what their needs are like oh, not intake needs uh they're furious that they can't have that meat that that need met um dealing with that need well I mean if you ju if you guys just go to the fuck to sleep god damn uh, warmth warmth yeah everybody has this need so I mean I made sure of that I made damn sure of that and I'm pretty sure everybody's overheating by now um, let's see what the uh, actually let's go into logistics and see the overall temperature I mean these guys are fucking boiling over there um, let's see here uh, let's see, overheating, is that a thing with these guys? Overheating, yeah, these guys kind of are overheating. Um, not entirely sure what to do about that, but either way, somebody's going to get overheated. Um, you know, but ultimately come, oh, it's summer, so we really don't even need um, an active, you know, so of course it's it's 41 and it's summer. It's 41 during the summer. That's that's crazy. Um, never heard of such a thing. That's that's something else. Um, can we intake any death row? Oh, we can actually. Um, can we? Anybody? No. Okay. Oh. Oh damn no. We we definitely don't want all that. So. Um, never mind. Okay, so what we want to do here, we might want to keep expanding a little bit. We might need to keep weeding out snitches. Um, but first, let's see here. We should actually get this area kind of completed. We should do this first. Before anything. Okay, so we have our death row foundation uh, kind of completed. Uh, we do, we might need an armory, too, so there's that. Um, security, intelligence, dogs. Should we get dogs? Who knows. Um, but of course... Here. I think it would be a little bit easier to get um, dogs, maybe instead of an armory. For now, at least. I think that'll be okay. Um... We got an, another prisoner that had an early release. Um, okay, so 
parole room. We got this guy, Simon Hancock. Um, he's serving three years. He literally... All right, let's see his reoffending re chance. Six percent. That's great. That's really great. Um, okay. Yep, see, everybody's trying to escape. They, they really try, and then they just end up... It ends up blowing up in their face. It really, really does. Um, we're going to have to probably get rid of those windows. I think, because I don't think anybody in the chapel wants to see... I don't even think the fucking priest wants to see some dude getting fucking electrocuted to death. Like, that. that that's just so fucking horrible. Anyway, here, let's get this airlock here. Um, that'll be a door. The cell... Could add a window right there, actually. On that side. Possibly. And then, of course, have the area for the substation. Uh, utilities. Let's see here. A power station. Um, we could probably get one right here, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Hmm. Now that I really think about it. I'm not entirely sure. Makes me really fucking wonder. I kind of laid out this whole thing the wrong way, I'm pretty sure. So, um, it's fine though. Um, we could still add a power station right here. Um, I think that would be okay. Maybe even give this dude a little bit more room. Maybe we could do that. Um, let's, let's go ahead and give him a little more room. Um, here, there we go. So we're going to do that. We're probably going to give him a big-ass, you know, space to play around with. Uh, give him his own shower. Give him everything, you know, because that'll be a lot easier than... I mean, of course he's going to have his own shower either way because... Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Because either way, you know, he's, he's in death row, so... You know, they're not going to fucking just, like, let him, you know, fly just like that. You know what I mean? Oh, boy. So this guy's cell is going to be... No. We should make it probably... I guess that big. I think that'll be a good size. Um, okay. And of course, this can be like the little substation area. Um, and let's think about what we can do with this area here, because I'm not sure what we can. Because it, it's we're not even going to use this space up, so um, could probably add a couple more cells here. Possibly. Um, let's see here. Let's go into planning, and we're going to save this area for a substation. So. There we go. Actually, I think that would work. Um, possibly as a dormitory, uh, actually. Could we put that as a dormitory? I think we could. Um, yeah, because it's only like, we could add like four beds here. We could add two bunk beds here. We could add two bunk beds here. Um, and people won't really complain. And they'll get the best spot ever right up against death row. Um, Oh boy. And maybe we could even add a window right there, you know? So that way they can all sit there and, you know, enjoy the view from their cells. Um, and be emotionally traumatized for the rest of their lives. Um, yes, I am that sadistic person. Um, okay, so we get a staff door here. We could. Or right there. That would also work. Possibly right in here too. Maybe. I think that would work right there. And then, of course, we're going to get large windows kind of going on in there. And then, nah, we're not going to do it. Um, maybe the priest can be, like, instead of having a window, he could, like, shout through the wall, sit there and talk about Jesus's and, you know, all that good stuff. Okay. And, of course... I'm going to add a jail door there, just that way. And everybody here, they can all have seating. 
So let's get them all some seating. Um, let's get all that in there. Oh, somebody escaped. Um, Got to figure out who that was. All right. So. All right, so that should be enough chairs. I don't think we really need anything over there. Um, of course, we might need a radiator kind of going through here. Make sure everybody's nice and warm and uh, all that good stuff for when, of course, this guy gets fucking executed and fried. Um, but we are going to do another shakedown. All right, and we've already found a lighter, too. A lighter, especially in um, escape mode. Yeah, I've I've played escape mode. Um, oh, yep, these guys. I knew it. They were way too close. They were way too close. Um, but this guard here, he didn't really do anything about it. I guess he... I guess because we don't have enough staff. So let's get a few more kind of going on in there. Um, those guys are going to have to continue kind of watching over these prisoners. And we should enable, you know, or we should add, you know, higher and much more stricter punishments for, you know, these entire, for these prisoners. Okay, I just did like a sweep over the entire thing just to make sure, you know, everything was good. Okay, so this will all be this dude's cell. Um... And of course, this will be the area where everybody sits. Um, and then this will be execution. Indoors, electric chair. We are going to need an electric chair. Uh, everybody's fucking coming through here. Spiritual leader. Oh my god. Oh man. Attacked prisoner. Who's the guy responsible for fucking. Uh, let's see. Murder. Up. Uh, He's gonna get charged with murder. I'm I'm just waiting for it. One, he only had to serve five years. He only had to serve five years. Let's see where he is now. Oh, he's down there. Okay, let's see here. So, yep, he just committed murder. Uh, solitary, 24 hours. Uh, maximum security. Search cell. Search prisoner. Oh man fucking dipshit, man. I hate people like that. They just murder staff. Like, I mean, those staff, I mean, they, they don't ask for it. Like, what the hell do you want them to do? Anyway, um, we're gonna add our dormitory here, so that way they can sit here and listen to this dude getting fried on the other side. Shock a little fear into them. Uh, here we go. Add a dormitory. Um, or at least a large jail cell. Um, get a couple of these, uh, bunk beds. I guess right here would be nice. Um, add a couple of showers, possibly. Um, yeah. Yeah, add a couple of those. And then, uh, we are gonna need maybe a radio, too. I think that would be okay. Um... Add the radio, and uh, let's see what else we can get for these guys. Um, we could add a bookshelf, maybe. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get ourselves a um, not an electric chair, but the uh, the bookshelf. There we go. And uh, maybe even a weight bench too. You know, just for their you know, just for their own you know sanity. You know, they can sit there when they're bored as hell and, uh, fuck around with that. Uh, but we don't have, we don't have enough money for this, uh, electric chair. We have, like, a perfect placement between all three of those, uh, windows right there. Um, but yeah, there we go. Alright. So let's see here. Hmm. Man, these guys are really slow at searching this entire prison, man. It's crazy. Um, Alright, so we've added death row in this episode. We do need to kind of add 
in all the, like the sort of luxuries, even though they really don't deserve it. Oh, let's see what's going on. One of our more charismatic inmates has become something of a religious, or a religious and evangel evangelist, and others seem to be coming around their way of, to their way of thinking. Not a necessary, not necessarily a problem, but our prisoners may soon have more spiritual needs. Well, that's why we have prayer mats. That's why we have. Oh, we don't even have a chapel. That's right. Um, oh wait, pfft, I'm an idiot. I was thinking of uh, another prison that I was playing um, for a second there. But yeah, we do have a, we have a chapel. We have prayer mats. I mean, what more do these guys need? Like, come on, it shouldn't be hard. Um, yeah, it looks like that substation's fine for now. Uh, but this one's gonna need maybe like three capacitors, just to make sure that it runs and everything. Um, nope, this is actually. Death row only. Death row only. I could only imagine setting this entire prison to death row only, man. Everybody will be, like, crowded outside. Um, oh my god, that would be awful. Okay, um, what next? So we do need, uh, pipes kind of going through here. There we go. Get some pipes going through here. We need some electrical. Kind of going through here as well. There we go. Then, of course, this entire thing is going to need to run all the way out here. Of course, right there, too. There, actually. There we go. And then maybe right in there. All right. So, that guy's gonna get everything that he really needs and wants. Uh, first, starting with a bed. Uh, let's add one right there. I should have put it up against the wall, but uh, I think it'll be fine. Get one right there. Maybe a toilet and a shower. Right around here. A uh, shower will be right next to it. Um, Actually, yeah, I was looking for the chair for some stupid reason. Even though this guy's going to be getting one real fucking soon. Um, a weight bench. Give him a little exercise. Maybe a phone booth. Pimp out his whole cell. Um, this guy is going to need a radio. Or well, he's going to want a radio, I'm sure. Maybe while he takes a dump. Um, okay. Add some of that in some of those pipes make sure that guy's got proper flow to the toilet uh, okay and then a radiator right there you know to keep things warm because let's see how how cold it is in there um, actually pff, I didn't even need to add a radiator let's pause the game um, let's just get rid of it because it's not necessary right now logistics yeah this this guy's gonna be plenty warm already so, it's not necessary. I thought this guy would have been like, you know, because it's, I mean, there's really not any heating in this area, but I guess it kind of expands throughout here. Um, yeah, we have almost enough for uh, the electric chair. Um, oh, yeah, that's the one thing I, my dumbass actually forgot. It was a toilet. So, um, we could add a toilet, maybe. Hmm. Right there, next to the uh, next to the radio. Um, so that way they can either you know read about Jesus or they can listen to stuff about Jesus, um, and you know take a dump. I mean I don't know why deployment or logistics actually uh, distribution. No, everybody should be going there instead. I don't know why people are coming coming down to. Um, this canteen when they have their own canteen. That's one of the things that I, um, I guess that I messed up on. Um, that's probably why everybody was dying because I was allowing, uh, maximum security into that prison or well to that canteen, not prison. But, um, you know, yeah, look at all these guys. They're all just kind of playing pool. Um, they were, and now they're all talking to family. Now look at all of them. Oh, he's taking a poo while he's talking to his family. Alright guys, um, 
when we come back, uh, we're going to have, I guess, in the next episode, we're going to be uh, finishing off Death Row. And uh, we're going to have our electric chair, so uh, that, that should be fun. Um, having to send everybody back to their cells, having to do ourselves a nice bang up. Um, I think in the next episode I'll start off by doing a shakedown. Um, but yeah, it looks like we have basically everything that we need for, uh, ex for execution, uh, for death row. Um, this area here might need something to fill it up. I don't know what there is to really fill it up. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out, I guess. Um, if need be, we'll put maybe another cell there. Um, or if we need to, we could put a bunk bed right there. I think that'll work out fine. Um, we might need to separate some of this stuff to make it look a little more open. Um, so yeah, that that'll, that should be fun. So, alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, you know, leave a comment, tell me how I did. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, you know, share with your friends, let them know that I'm about to fry some motherfuckers. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a good one.